Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I wanted to talk about my top skincare products for spring slash summer 2022. So with the seasons changing and the weather getting hotter and more humid, I feel like a lot of us just want to switch up our skincare routine and lighten it up or make it feel drier and less heavy and less hot and just feel more comfortable as we go into those warmer months. So I've got my top picks for you for lightening up your skincare routine in this video. I'm not gonna go through my entire skincare routine, but I'm gonna show you just selected products and selected areas where I feel it's gonna be most beneficial to lighten up for the coming season. So let's start in sunscreen. Sunscreen is super important, especially as we go into the warmer months of the year. You're gonna be spending more time outdoors. You're gonna be having more sun exposure. And so you really need to take your sunscreen game up a notch for the coming season. So while I know a lot of people think of sunscreen as really greasy, really heavy feeling, there are actually some beautiful lightweight sunscreens on the market that you can use every day, not feel them on your skin. So you guys know that I've tried a ton of sunscreens and I'm always looking for something that's nice and lightweight and dry feeling. And the one that I've tried that is the lightest weight feeling, the driest feeling from the moment you put it on is the Michel Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50. This is such a beautiful sunscreen. It's so lightweight. You won't believe how it feels going on. I always say about this, if you've never met a sunscreen that you liked because it was always too heavy, too greasy feeling, then this is a sunscreen for you. It glides over the skin, it rubs in so quickly and easily, and it immediately feels dry and set. It doesn't even feel greasy on your fingers after you put it on, and it's just a beautiful sunscreen. This is an all mineral sunscreen, and it also comes in three shades, so you can find a tint in this to match your skin tone. Another really nice lightweight tinted sunscreen that I just started using is this one from Undefined. It's their r r Sun Serum. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. This one also has a PA++++ rating. So that's the highest UVA protection that you can get. So you're getting really good broad spectrum protection in this one. This one is also a really lightweight fluidy liquid. It's also a tinted mineral sunscreen and it's just, look how lightweight that is. While it does have a little bit of that oily slip to it, it doesn't dry back feeling super greasy on your skin. This is the one that I'm wearing today, and I'm just wearing this with a little bit of powder over it to even out my skin tone and take down the shine. For me, it does have a tiny bit of shine, but look at how beautiful that is on the skin. I mean, between the two of these, they're just so beautiful. They don't look like anything sitting on the surface of your skin, and they are wonderful lightweight sunscreens. I would recommend the MyShell more for people with oily skin because it tends to be a little bit drying. And I'd recommend the r, &R for people with more dry skin because it's super hydrating. So if you've only tried mineral sunscreens that have been white and heavy and greasy feeling, you've got to give one of these two a try because they will completely change your mind about what mineral sunscreen can be. Then if you're not interested in mineral sunscreen at all, my favorite chemical sunscreen is Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This is also an SPF 50 with a PA++++ rating. This is another super lightweight sunscreen. Of course, with the chemical sunscreens, they can make them lighter weight. They can make them with no white cast. And so this is no exception to that. But this is another beautiful sunscreen, super lightweight, rubs in really, really easily, really quickly, doesn't leave a white cast on the skin and is just a gorgeous sunscreen. So you could consider any one of these three to lighten up your sunscreen. All right, after sunscreen, my next top product for use all year round, really not just spring and summer, is going to be my tretinoin. So that's my prescription retinoid. As you guys know, retinoids are the gold standard in anti-aging. They really are the things that are proven with years and years of research to increase collagen production in the skin. It makes your skin firmer and it makes your skin thicker. And so that really helps 
helps to reduce your fine lines and wrinkles. Tretinoin also is a little bit exfoliating, so it can help to reduce age spots and discolorations. It is just the anti-aging powerhouse that you need to have. This is how I get my Tretinoin. This is Agency, and this is a custom prescription product that is shipped right to your door. I'm an Agency ambassador, so this portion of the video is gonna be sponsored by Agency. And yeah, this video is about switching things up for the spring and summer, but this is one thing that I don't switch up. This is a thing that I keep consistent all throughout the year because it is the number one anti-aging product that I have. And the thing with tretinoin use or really any retinoid use is that consistency is the key. You want to be consistent with this. You want to start with it, even if it means starting at a lower percentage and working your way up gradually over time so that you can use it in the long haul. Using tretinoin you should think of as being the tortoise rather than being the hare. You don't want to start in quickly, have too much irritation, and then quit using it because you'll never see the benefits. And it really does take time for you to see the effects of this. And so I don't really recommend people stopping and starting all year round or stopping when the summer months are coming. Because the main reason that most of us are gonna be wanting to use something like tretinoin is because we have a lifetime worth of sun damage on our skin. And we're trying to use that to undo some of that sun damage. So in my mind, it doesn't make sense to then sit out in the sun and get more sun damage and stop using the most effective thing for the entire season. It makes more sense for me to continue to use it during the summer seasons and just protect my skin from the sun, whether that means reapplying my sunscreen during the day or wearing a hat. That's what I prefer to do because I'm trying to undo my lifetime of sun damage that I've got on my face and I have really had great results using this product. I've been able to undo so much of the sun damage that I got over my 45 years of being a sun worshiper that this has really been like the thing that I don't switch out even when the seasons change. So you snap a couple of pics of yourself, you upload them to Agency, they match you up with a licensed dermatology provider. They develop your formula that's just for you and your skincare goals. So my skincare goals were wrinkled dark spots, texture issues, and you know, starting to see a little bit of a lack of firmness. What my agency provider recommended was for me to get the Future Formula, which is where I get my tretinoin. So this bottle contains four active ingredients, one of which is prescription, that's the tretinoin. But then my provider also recommended the Dark Spot Formula because I was showing some dark spots around my face. I had a couple up here on my forehead and some on, you know, that driver's side cheek where we all seem to have an age spot. And so they also recommended the Dark Spot formula. This bottle also contains four active ingredients and this one for me contains hydroquinone at 4%, kojic acid at 4%, azelaic acid at 3%, and hydrocortisone at 2.5%. So I've been using tretinoin products for almost 10 years now, and the tretinoin has really made an amazing change in my skin, but it's really the hydroquinone that I've added in more recently to tackle the dark spots that's made like a really surprising difference in my dark spots because you know while this does tackle dark spots a little bit and a lot of the stuff in here will do that this is what really knocked my dark spots to the curb i gotta say because i had a spot right up here i mean it's still there a little bit but it is a shadow of its former self um, even when I had makeup on, I could see it through my makeup in all my videos. And today, I don't have any makeup on, just my little bit of super sheer tinted sunscreen that barely adds any tint, and then just a little translucent powder to mattify me down. And, you know, on, I can't even see it up here anymore. So it took going through two cycles with the hydroquinone for it to really make that spot start to fade. It didn't happen instantly. Like I keep always telling you guys, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint with these products. You're not going to see the changes happen within a week of using them. You really need to give them time to work, but given time, they really do work. I mean, I am so happy with how that dark spot has faded. What's cool about working with Agency is that they cycle you on and off of the dark spot formula because hydroquinone and hydrocortisone are ingredients that 
you need to use carefully and really should have an expert directing how you're going to use them. So if you did want to give Agency a try, I don't think you'll regret it. I think that you will see the changes in your skin like I have. But if you do, there is a link in the info box below the video. You sign up. Your first 30-day trial of the product is free. You just pay $4.95 for shipping and handling. And then after that, if you choose to sign on, you sign on for every other month shipping. All right, let's move on to my next top skincare product for summer and spring, and that is antioxidants. I think it's really important to have antioxidants in your skincare routine all year long, but I think that summer and spring, it's especially important because we end up getting a little bit more sun exposure during these months, and antioxidants can help mitigate that sun damage. The best antioxidant that I love getting in my skincare routine is vitamin C and as you guys know if you've watched me for any amount of time you know that all vitamin C's are not created equal there are very few vitamin C serums that have the proven form of vitamin C that is L ascorbic acid and so there's very few on the market that you can get but my favorite one is from a company called timeless skincare this is their 20 percent vitamin c plus e plus perulic acid and those are two more antioxidants so you're getting three antioxidants in this little bottle and the reason that I especially recommend this for the spring and summer is because it's so lightweight. It's such a lightweight, runny formula. Oh, I just wasted a bunch of it on my desk, but look how watery that is. I mean, that will not add any weight or any greasy feel or any heaviness to your skincare routine. I use this first thing in my morning skincare routine every single day. It just absorbs in so quickly. It's a clear, watery liquid, and it's just beautiful to use. It doesn't leave your skin feeling like tacky or heavy or anything, and you're getting all those great antioxidants that are gonna help fight those free radicals. So that's a really good one. Then another antioxidant that I use and love is CoQ10. This works a little bit differently from other antioxidants. This antioxidant gives your skin energy. And I feel like since you know, in the spring, we kind of want to wear less makeup and have the beauty of our skin show through. Our skin really needs energy to do that. And one great way to help it boost its little mitochondria, its energy factories, is by feeding it CoQ10. So this is another timeless product that I use, but it, again, is another lightweight serum. So this is their CoQ10 serum. It's also very lightweight. This is another one that rubs in really quickly. It's really lightweight, very watery. It doesn't add any heaviness or stickiness to your routine, and it's a fabulous serum. So I recommend both of those. I use these in the morning back to back. So definitely, if you're not using any antioxidants in your skincare routine yet, this is a perfect time to add in an antioxidant serum, maybe one, maybe two. And the last area that you can definitely lighten up your skincare routine for the spring and summer is in your moisturizer. So I choose my moisturizers based on ingredients, and I love a multitasking moisturizer that's gonna give me some of my all-time favorite skincare ingredients. The ones that I'm mainly looking for are niacinamide, ceramides, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and peptides. Now, it's hard to get all those things into one product, but I found a couple here that are really good multitaskers and that are lighter weight versions of the things that I'm already using that can help you lighten up for the spring and summer. And that's where the Dermatology Needle Less Serum comes in. I picked this up a couple of months ago and I just started using it because it just started getting warmer here. But my gosh, do I love this serum. This is a beautiful serum and the ingredients are so great. This is like a little powerhouse of a serum. Take a look at it. It's super clear. It's a super lightweight liquid. It rubs in so beautifully. It doesn't leave any heaviness or any tack on the skin. It's got ceramides. It's got niacinamide, glycerin. Um, it's got three different peptides in it, and it's got hyaluronic acid, and it's all packed in this one nice little bottle. So that is an awesome one. Then the night cream that I normally use is the Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream. This contains niacinamide, peptides, hyaluronic acid. This is a little bit of a heavier night cream that I use all winter long. So if I wanted to lighten that up for the spring and summer, what I would switch to is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is more of like a gel cream consistency 
It's very lightweight, a lot lighter weight than the Olay, but it has all the same ingredients. It's got niacinamide, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin. So this is an awesome lightweight cream that you could use as your night cream. So those are my top skincare products for spring and summer 2022 and my tips for simple swaps that you could make to lighten up your skincare. So that's it for today's video, everyone. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.